This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering wheel. Slide the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards, then support it with a prop rod. After the vehicle has been driven to warm up the fluid, apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Jack up the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Move the necessary equipment under the vehicle, being careful not to touch any of the hot engine or exhaust components. Place the drain pan under the transaxle drain plug, then remove the plug. Be sure the drain pan is in position, as fluid will come out with some force. Once the fluid is drained, reinstall the drain plug and tighten it to the specified torque setting. Lower the car to the ground. With the engine off, remove the transaxle dipstick and add the correct type of new fluid to the transaxle through the dipstick tube using a funnel to prevent spills. Begin the refill procedure by initially adding a third of the amount drained. Start the engine. With the engine idling and your foot on the brake, move the gear selector lever through each gear position, pausing for a couple seconds in between, then return the shifter lever to park. With the engine still idling, wipe off the dipstick with a clean rag, then push it all the way into the tube until the cap seats. Pull the dipstick out again and note the fluid level. The fluid level should be slightly above the lower mark when the transaxle fluid is cold. As the vehicle is driven, the fluid level will rise closer to the upper mark. Add more fluid to the transaxle as necessary, a half a pint at a time, cycling the shifter through each gear position between additions. Be sure not to overfill the transaxle. Once the fluid level is correct, insert the dipstick fully into the tube. Turn off the engine. 